My name is Brandi Ezel and I'm the traffic engineer for the City of Auburn, the home of Auburn University, so War Eagle. The City of Auburn has a very diverse population. We have a very large student population, but we also are a great place to live and raise a family. And then we are also drawing a lot of retirees. And so we have to manage the needs of all the people from, you know, 8 to 80. We have a lot of pedestrians, particularly in our downtown and around campus, a lot of people on bicycles. So we are looking to strengthen our bicycle network, our pedestrian network, and the safety that surrounds those multimodal transportations. Cycling is actually near and dear to my heart, and it's something that I participate in regularly. I have the unique advantage of seeing that through the different perspectives. So I see it both as a traffic engineer and I see it also as a cyclist. We've been very fortunate in the traffic division of the City of Auburn in that traffic has been a priority. We have managed to get the funding to really stay cutting edge with our traffic signals. Being the home of Auburn University, we do have some unique challenges, particularly around game day weekends when the traffic in town is quadrupled among what it normally would be. But with our smart technologies that we have at our signals, we are able to manage those timing plans both remotely and through time of day plans and things like that. Before we had communication to our traffic signals, we had to wait on citizens or public safety or somebody to report an issue. So there were a lot of delays and congestions that we just didn't know about yet. So we're able to get those issues corrected and keep traffic moving efficiently, a lot more effectively. Power failures are one of the number one faults of traffic signals. So we added battery backups to all of our intersections and that's great, but then we figured out that we need to monitor the life of those batteries and how long that they're gonna maintain those signals because we actually went through a hurricane. We found out in the midst of the storm that the batteries were not good for long enough and so the intersections went down. And so we had a lot of intersections down at the same time. So that led us down a road of trying to monitor the health of the battery. And that's where we ended up partnering with Applied Information and they developed their software so that it would monitor our battery health and then run tests on the batteries every night so that we would know which ones need to be replaced and which ones were still working. We also partner with Temple. They're actually looking at our traffic control center every single morning for certain deficiencies. And then they are calling us and saying, hey, we noticed this is an issue. They will rectify the problem if it can be done remotely, or they'll call in technicians if a technician is needed on site. We are staying much more on top of how things are running. And we get a lot less calls from the public about deficiencies. We have been working with Temple, gosh, the whole time I've been with the City of Auburn. We have called them in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. and they'll walk us through the solution. If it's outside of our expertise, they've got the expertise and they don't mind getting a call at three in the morning. The customer service that Temple provides is very unique. When we installed our communications at our intersections, we had to look at what type of cell modem we wanted to deploy. And we found the applied information units also had the integrated cell modems in them, in addition to also having the emergency vehicle preemption. So we basically were able to get the applied information units and preemption for the cost of just the cellular modems. So by providing emergency vehicle preemption to the fire trucks, we're actually not only getting them faster, but we're also getting there safer. Technology is constantly changing. When I started in this industry, you know, we were still using uh, mechanical controllers. Now they're all smart and computerized. We had, you know, limited types of detection. Now we're using video cameras and radar to provide the best levels of service that we can. And it really improves their performance, reduces congestion, with reduced congestion, you get reduced travel times, reduced smog, and all the other things that go along with it. As we look to the future, I think, you know, we will continue to look for those new technologies. We will continue to look at ways that responsiveness of traffic controllers can be more automated. While it's always good to have a person looking over it, if the technology can be there to automatically detect, hey, traffic is rising. With traffic rising, we can change the timing plans. And a lot of that technology 
is already being utilized in communities across the U.S. It's just going to keep getting better and better. And at some point, we can really optimize the amount of traffic we can fit through an intersection using advanced technologies.